Assalamu alaikum alaykum, everybody. Week six of the MB podcast is officially live. All right, first thing start first. Wow. Um, it's okay, he heard his hip, but it <laughs> went to his brain, so. Uh, what little he had left. <laughs> uh, Salah, I love it. We're, we're all making our way to Salah, keeping as quiet as we can. Um, that's amazing. I just want to quickly mention uh, for the Aishat Salah, the, the Aishat prayer after the, 10th, the 9.30 game. I want to implement, we're going to try to implement that, that prayer. It's just, if we're too late, we have to get out. So please, if you guys are still in the gym, try, please try to clear out of the gym. And also, the charity, I'll keep the link in the description. So if you're ever looking for the charity, it'll be in the description of all these podcasts. Yo, huge shout out to everybody that's been helping out with Salatul Maghrib. And a huge shout out to everybody that helped out with the photos. Because the photos were amazing this week. Hassan, Jawad, uh, Jaime, Harambe, everybody was putting in work. So shout out everybody with helping the photos because, you know, we can only do so much without everybody's help. So. We appreciate you guys. First game, Istanbul versus Amman. This looks, the, the score looks Way crazy similar to last week. Yeah, but <laughs> I'm not going to lie. It shows you right here. Istanbul was up in the first half. Istanbul was actually working them in the first in the half. First like, half. Amman only plays zone. I heard per sources, Coach Numzi only likes to play zone. And Istanbul was moving the rock on them, and they were finding, like, the gaps. It's just nobody could hit shots. I had 3 for 11, Splash 2 for 11, Hassan 2 for 9, maybe because he was wearing that Debka shirt, Joad 2 for 9. So They got to start playing outside. It's clear to me that they're going week to week only in B. Like, you're not going to see any improvement in your shooting, like, consistently if you're not getting shots. But there is one man that's been hooping, though. Joad has been hooping. <laughs> Six breaks, crazy. <laughs> crazy. Twelve points, seven rebounds. Oh, that's insane. Not even purple pants on. <laughs> He's different. I no, did see he was wearing knee sleeve though. So He's got trip now. <laughs> so does that mean the man's about to just start running the one? Because I don't know what's going on. No, well, that's crazy, bro. Twelve points and your next highest score is eight. Hey, be aggressive. <laughs> be aggressive. I feel like, yeah, in the first half, everything was working. Even Ado was, I was talking to him after the game, and he was like, yeah, we look good. We were moving the ball. Like, we were feeling good. And they won the first half. It's just the second half, Ahmed switched to man. And, uh, oh, Ahmed switched to man in the second half. Yeah, and then oh, I wow. think it ended up maybe just hindering them a little bit. But also, I mean, you're not going to win a game when none of your players can shoot over 50%. Yeah. I mean, I think they could figure something out, but it's not looking too good right now, if I'm being honest. On that men's side, I mean, it wasn't that impressive of a win, I'll be honest. Like, uh, they've been kind of, uh, I've been kind of in their head ever since my team won. Like, I'm just saying, bro, they lose to me and Riyadh, and then they lose to uh, Farhad and the boys, and then, I mean, I don't know. It's kind of the same story every week. Look, Joe Capone had a pretty decent game, 16-7-4. and four. Teams have started to find out, like, hey, we're going to triple Capone and not let him score. And then uh, it's up to the supporting cast, and JoJo is still missing Walla. Haven't found him yet. Not even worth mentioning, in my opinion. Yeah, he's been playing like some garbage. I'm like, yeah, oh, like, like it's not worth really, mentioning. Really bad. I, if I have to look at anyone here, I'm super impressed by their bigs. Omar Khalif and Ahmed Kabar. Ahmed Kabar, four for, four for six, 11. 11 rebounds, nine points. And Omar Khalif only says two for four, but seven points, eight rebounds. I saw him put up a couple of buckets. They were nice. Look at them. Kill, they killed them on the glass. 21 rebounds. Yeah. Over. 46 so, Ahmad had 46 rebounds. Istanbul had 25. That's crazy. So Yeah, Forsan got to, like... Oh, I mean, uh, we told, so, we told just, Forsan to swing the rock, and to be fair to him, seven, five assists, assist, six rebounds. So he was well-rounded. He's got to hit his shots, Yeah, just be more efficient. I just point. think, like, Ahmad has to play a little bit faster. Like, if it's not for Capone, everybody has to hold the ball for, like, five seconds before they make a decision. Like, JoJo's holding the ball for five seconds. Forsan's, like, dribbling the ball for, like, five seconds. Like, bro, just attack. And then everything else is going to open up because, like, 3 for 17 from 3, 32% from the field is not going to cut it against, like, elite teams. Yeah, yeah for sure. They started to struggle against the better teams. Are they teams missing somebody? Too. I mean, I bet Yeah. Which is actually a big piece because people respect Space. his three ball. Yeah, so, so yeah. spacing is huge, actually. Yeah, we're going to talk about uh, Joey's technical foul. But I actually didn't even see what happened. I didn't see what happened. Yeah, I, 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 uh, didn't, I didn't see what happened. I, don't, I didn't think he got one either. Maybe, in front of his pops too maybe senior was just like bro honestly i would have hit that <laughs> you know you know it's funny i was talking to his pops like i was taking photos and i go and i walk by he she goes oh all of a sudden everybody's playing zone now yeah. <laughs> i was dying i, was I like, feel yeah, like 
I feel like they should try to get Capone off ball, like, a little bit. Like, I don't feel like he has to bring the ball up every single play. Like, let JoJo or let um, Fusan bring up the ball and maybe let him come off a screen or something. They're, like, definitely, they're definitely capable. I, like, they're I don't see capable. why not, because, yeah. like, like, there's no reason. Like, it's the same thing every single play coming down. Yeah. Kind of look like us week one and two. They didn't shoot too well from the three either. They didn't, but they haven't shot well like the last couple of games either. One for four, one for five. They got lucky. The other team just did did basically just as that. But yeah, yeah, like I said, shout out the bigs: Ahmed Kobar nine and eleven, and uh, Omar Khalaf seven eight. So again, Um, Lagos Timbuktu second game. So this game started off. Lagos took it. We're running away with it. Maybe they went off. They took off their foot off the gas pedal just a little bit, and uh, Timbuktu made some adjustments, started to hit shots, and they brought themselves right back in it, and hence the final score. But Lagos, when when they when they feel like it, that's what it seems like when they feel like it. Put their foot on the gas pedal, and they yeah, just. Yeah, I gotta find out what Amr Hussein is like eating. Yes. Yeah. Thirty uh, and then twenty four, and this week it wasn't even on threes. He couldn't hit a three. Went to yeah. the line nine out of twelve times. Nine out of twelve. Nine been twelve. taking a little bit of acting classes, huh? By the way, they were missing Omar Kassim in this game. I was just peeping. I was like, Omar I didn't Kassim. see it. That's a huge piece. You know, that's twelve at least. Saying it, he, missing Omar Kassim, and then the people that stepped up that you expect yeah. to step up, Omar Hussein yeah. and Amir Koyas stepped up with Farhad having a bad game. Like Farhad goes seven for thirteen, and this game isn't even honestly great. highlight on the team is Amir Koyas. It's without yeah, a doubt. Bro, uh, eight for eight for twelve, nine rebounds and twenty if, points. If Amir Koyas is filthy. hitting two threes a game, that's filthy. This game, this team is. You're untouchable, untouchable because he's untouchable. two threes. Amr Hussein's three threes. Qasim's three threes. Farhad could get going, and then their zone is just—it's tough to beat. Like, yeah, the one weak point in their zone did get a little exploited with Timbuktu at the end. The corners are a little bit free, so like they started to hit a couple of threes. Shazab got hot and hit three. Ed hit two, so like it started to open up. But overall, I think Lagos had this controlled. They were up twenty-one. Honestly, I want to say, guys. I just need this team to lose once. I don't want to see a team go undefeated. So whoever's versing Lagos, they're going to run a 3-2. Prepare for it now. <laughs> what, don't, don't do the there, in-game one, I don't mind. I'm not going to lie. I wouldn't be mad if they went undefeated. Like I like everybody. There's no way I don't like I don't, I don't want anybody to go undefeated. I wouldn't be mad, but I'm not, the, the, we, we have hope. There's, there's one more team that, that I think has a chance yeah. that plays them yeah. next week. So, so we'll get into that, but... For sure, it'll be interesting. On the Timbuktu side, like we said before. Well, I just atrocious uh, basketball. This is what this is, bro. Like, Any of you guys are interested in actually watching this atrocious basketball, <laughs> I, I have the film. <laughs> Please let me know if you ever want to watch bad basketball and what not to do in the game. Bro, like, we know they it. have talent. Like, we say it every time. Shazayv, Mohanad, Khalid, Ahmed, you know, he got hurt. So, inshallah, khair for him and he got speedy recovery. That's why he was one for one. Well, that blessed his percentages. Yeah, what's his percentages? Man? <laughs> it's not gonna help that much. It's one hundred percent gonna help. And barely, it's yeah. one shot. Thirty six. Well, yeah. well, that's an amazing <laughs> game. Well, <I'll> <laughs> for Ahmed, thirty six percent. Oh, that's crazy. Didn't miss. But overall, first of all, shout out Mohamed Deeb. Word. Nineteen and sixteen. Dog, you know the amount shooting. of layups he, he smoked, bro. Six wide assists. Wide open. Wide open. Like, bro, this game they could have really could have won yeah, this man. game no, triple, though. if he didn't smoke all those uh, all those wide open layups. Bro, he smoked like six wide open. Hold on, bro. Let me see. <laughs> Yo, was Ed running the five? Ed game. Bro, he, he boy, got he bro. got big on vacation. He's gonna use it. He came back Makes from the sense. west coast. He's running the five. Makes sense. Aye, Ed. Aye. <laughs> yo, you know what broke my heart, yo? Khaled gets Khaled open on the three, and he hits the first one. He gets the same shot again from the other side, and he misses Miss it. it. While you all was on the court getting ready to go crazy. Bro, oh, they came back storming. Bro, look at this. They they, they yeah, outscored them 44 to 20 in the second, second half. half. Mohamed got, like, two and ones. Shazay started getting going. Yeah, Shazay had 22, nine assists, and four rebounds. I know we're not highlighting him enough, but we kind of expect it from him. That's why we're not highlighting him that much, but... Mohamed, 19-16, if he continues this with Khaled, 11 points. And, Ed, we know is good for a couple of threes. I still think this team is going to be a tough this game. This team is good. They just got to figure it out, man. I mean, they, they stayed in it with the best team in the league. So. Yeah, and uh, we got to figure it out about the Ahmed situation, what's going to happen there. Yeah. But, yeah. I think as long as they're being aggressive and swinging the rock the way they were yesterday hit some and, and too, making man. the right adjustments early on, they're going to be in every game. They're going to compete with the best teams. Yeah. So... I'm not. I'm not worried if, like for them or about them. So, huh? Kabul Tehran. All right, bro. I need to apologize to Kabul because I keep telling, saying, "Hey, they haven't been tested. Hey, they haven't done this. They haven't done this." And every single week, they end up winning. 
And every single week they shoot terribly. <laughs> every single week they shoot terribly. And I look at the stats and I'm like, all right, bro, like they haven't gotten tested. Like they haven't really played anybody. I don't know. They just got slid by. But it looks like that's what they do. They just play hard defense, 15 steals. And, uh, yeah. You know what gets me every week? So every week I, I can't – once once Ahmed posts the stats, I immediately go to the standings because we – we won last two games, so I want to know where I'm oh, I we've gone to the standings. At all. So look at look at the standings. I'm like looking at our point in the first. I'm like, wow, it makes sense. And you just see one team that just stands out. Kabul five and one plus three and a half. Oh, the we're more than that as a three and three. Just team. barely scoop, scraping by every game. They scrape by five games in a row. Like at this point, uh, I feel like that's the formula. It, it, okay, you could say whatever you want to that, but What's come playoff time, point? it's not sustainable. It can't be sustainable. Right, but I'll tell you what is sustainable. My hood's getting 20 and 20. <laughs> let it be. Let it be, but well, He's just clocking it. The way they're winning is not, is not like, not pretty. And you got to make it pretty. All right, so I didn't get to watch this game because I was coaching. So if you guys, like, watch the game, tell me what you saw. Okay, there. What so, could Tehran have done better? So, some shots, it's, it, yeah, it's very simple. I watched, I watched like, a good amount of the second half. Most football guys uh, in there, though. I also. think that's huge. I agree. That, that's, you know Mahlou's not scoring on that. I'm saying 17 Ma- rebounds, Ma- be serious. Ma- Ma- not scoring on those claims. I think, Ma- I think it's very on. similar to... Wedding cake stuffed in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's very similar to uh, what we were saying about Joe Capone. You got to get some of the pressure off of Ali Hassan. Ali Sufyan is doing his best out there, but have someone else bring the ball up and, and create most of the time. Oh, Islam, I literally had bold prediction, 15 points. I bro. didn't show him. This was the Come issue. On, I promise if I had shown Two him... Two points? If I had shown him... If I had shown him... The, the 15 plus he would have done no he convinced me by the way with that he convinced me so I'm like me and you I'm you know so serious, he doesn't bro. watch this bro I Manchester gotta show him United, the clip. like I know you're busy saving lives and stuff bro but like can you at least like help a guy out look at his prediction when he's blessing you like come on son. It, it was very simple at the end though Ali, I, Ali missed his shots like very off game for him and they very Poor decision making at the end. Horrible turnovers that just cost them the game. I did hear though, Sinjir Horrible had like a players. super clutch six zero run where like he kind of like yeah. flipped everything on its head and he kind of gave them the edge. And I saw Elias hit a he huge did. shot at the he end. Of the After, smoking the yeah. After smoking the layup. After smoking the layup. In yeah. true Elias fashion. Too many pull ups, too many push ups. That's what Mahlou said. He said he can't. He can't. Like we get you it. Can't have a job. Although we get it, you're huge. Although well, well, we do. No, but on the Tehran side, I'm not going to lie. At least when I was watching, every time Ali Hassan got the ball, he chopped it. I mean, he yeah. literally The stats threw show it 5 for 20. I yeah. swear, every time he touched it, he threw it, and it just uh, was He came fun. in with, like, a beverage. I don't know if that was coffee or whatever it was. Maybe you need a little bit more of that because 5 for 20 is not or enough. Or get rid of it because well, it's not working. <laughs> Bro, but I heard Ice fans going at my rules. He was like, yo, let me get the rock. Bro, 7 for 14. They both play 7 for 14. 14 and 16. Because one got free throws, the other didn't. 14 points, 16 rebounds. Literally zero. Points, 17 wow. rebounds. Yeah. Bro, he hit. He hit Singer, 16 points, 13 rebounds, double-double. With six steals. Yep. Uh, I didn't peep that. That's crazy. Yeah, that's such crazy style. Ah, uh, it is. I mean, you, the only thing that doesn't look too good is efficiency. Obviously, the 6 but for 18. But he did everything but else. Literally everything. You gotta credit him if your yeah. shot's not going in. At least he's playing D. Yeah, he's doing everything. Else. He's doing exactly. everything. Exactly. He was sneaky with his steals too. Exactly. Right? Catching me mean, sleeping. I the reason they're five and one is big MVP. Yeah, for, for sure. sure. Bro, every single game, I think. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, maybe Mahrez had an off game. Fifty percent, twenty and twenty. Yeah. Yeah. But what? Was that baby Kevin Love? The packy version. Under ten on fifty-five percent shooting. Something like. Is Mahrez packy Kevin Love? Eh. He's better, bro. I don't like the Kevin Love comparison, but yeah, he's man. something. He's something good. Very someone good. Very impressive. Also, Tehran's missing Omar Marajali. When he comes back, I do think that's somewhat a of a huge big deal. floor space. He can dribble. He can floor space. He can maybe yeah. take some pressure off. But if Ali Sofian continues to play like this, Ali Hassan can. You know, we know Ali Hassan's gonna get his stuff together. Tehran, as usual, is gonna be no slouch. But it's not Abbasi. Can you please like prove me right I'll next I'll week? Show him the clip. The week yeah. after. I'll show him the clip. Like, come on, bro. I got you. I promise. Lock it. Alright. Next game from yesterday, Real Medina. Oh. Mr. Forty Piece Burger himself. Yeah, this is crazy. That is bro. insane, bro. First horse, Shafiq so actually walked up to me and he was like, Yo, I think I'm gonna have forty this game and I was like, You being serious, bro? He was like, Yeah. And he just went out and had forty. That's what he told me, bro. I don't believe you. That's insane. Bro. I don't believe Shafiq oh, he ever had said that. Forty <laughs> on eighty percent shooting. Bro, oh, I think the nine rebounds and the seven percent on layups are way more impressive. Like, yeah, yeah the eighty percent. 
80. Bro, imagine yeah, yeah, he got one has to get smoked. Forty burger. Imagine he got burgers. forty points in a triple double in a close game. You know how crazy that would be? Like he's like that close. Yeah, too. that's also like super unrealistic. So, what do you mean? Forty in a close game? It is forty. It literally. Yeah, but like I'm gonna be honest. Like I was watching this game. Like, it didn't feel like they, they, they were smacking but, the whole time. But we were we had like a relatively. Were you ever worried? No, no, because it was like an eight to ten point lead like the whole time. We were like in control. Medina got hot like with spurts because Amir Tarkas is literally a bucket. Like you, I don't know what to do with him. You know, we tried to double him off the screen and took away his three. He got to the basket, free throws nine times. He hit this crazy bank shot. Even Musa was like, I don't know what to do. Mustafa Basi came out in the first half, reincarnation of Kobe. Literally got to the elbow, pump fake three times, That's jumper, and then Mo Musta got hot, and hit four threes. So they did have like some runs. But overall, I'll be honest, bro. I think coach sold them with the defensive game plan. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if someone's if you can call him a coach, points, <laughs> I, I don't know. Is well, he fired already? Coach, I don't bro. know. I'm about to fire him, and I'm not even on the team, bro. bro. I mean, alhamdulillah, he took off the LeBron jersey. Alhamdulillah. Stop disrespecting my goal. Imagine LeBron going. Imagine he's disrespecting like my goal. Never, bro. I don't know, bro. I don't know. I mean, it's very suspect right now. Like you can't take anything away from the forty point fourteen for seventeen, whatever that stat line is. Uh, speak was hooping. But but bro. definitely a big part of it is the defensive scheme was just not working at all. So. I don't know. Like I feel like after he scores twenty, you start to think maybe Seriously. this isn't working. Oh, yeah, 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 really. Not bad. I was like, no, nah, nah, I actually wasn't called. Yo, uh, shout out Jaime for letting Shafi score twenty on you. Jaime, but uh, <laughs> I'm the best. I didn't mean it like that. I did not mean it like that. That's all him. Big <laughs> shout out Jaime. <laughs> I yeah. bang an assist to Shafiq, just letting him go by and scoring every single time. Bro, opened up right, Bro. said, please. Bang. Go. Now, you're you really Hall of Fame diamond for real. You probably lead the league in assists now, Jaime. But, uh... But other than that, I mean, we did what we had to do, bro. Big Y'all, Moose came, showed up as usual. Big Moose, 15 and 19. I mean, that's just what he does. Idris hit his one threes. The Bear hit his two threes like we expected. But I need to say something. I don't know if you guys saw. Ahmed Magic Johnson and Munayiri. MPJ? Oh, no. Wrong uh, one, wrong one. Sorry. But sorry. The, I have to shout out MPJ after, but Ahmed catches the ball on a fast break. I don't know if no he way can do this off. or not. No way he looked off. Moose is behind him and he goes, he, 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 no way. <laughs> and dimed it right to him. <laughs> That's him, bro. Well, I love that. Moose comes and he goes, well, I look down, the ball is already in my That's hands. Magic Johnson for real. That's Magic Johnson for real. Come on, bro. Really? Like, this is really this the is, keystone this is unfair, of the team, bro. Like, That's the keystone of the team, Leon has bro. two NBA players on the damn team, bro. Former, current, whatever, bro. It's not fair. Magic Johnson, NBA. <laughs> not fair, <laughs> bro. I'm saying, he just... He was like, yo, Tofi, can I run point after? And I was like, oh, Shafi, like, let Shafi rock because he's feeling it. But yeah. next game, he was like, all right, but, but. That's all I'm saying, bro. Could Quiet it be game. the power in the neon socks? I don't know. I like the on side. I, mean, oh, that's, that's, I think he's repping the Jets, so. All right, never mind. So, I have a question to ask you guys. So, who is the sheikh going to add to his list of people that he's killing? Yeah, he's, 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 he's uh, to that meme, bro. Probably Mustafa Bassi. Even though Mustafa Bassi killed the rim and his field goal percentage, on top of that, it would probably have to be yeah, sheikh, you know. He could honestly put Bilal just because of the horrible coach. Yeah, that's what I would do. Horrible coach. I would put Bilal. But like, add him to the meme. I feel like everybody could put Bilal on like anything. Anything. Just yeah. Else. <laughs> what know, is their record? Maybe so he what? should just. Maybe Bilal should just stop coming. Like because this is very weird. So now Bilal is injured, right? But he's still coming to games. But when he's healthy, he doesn't come to games. What, what's going on there? Why right, this guy? I'm telling you, bro. Uh, I'm you, know, you know, you know, he's weird, bro. bro. He's, he's, so weird, bro. he's, he's bro. weird, bro. Yeah. Tried to run this triangle thing on Shafiq. <laughs> Shafiq gave him forty. I don't know, bro. I don't know. Hey, yeah, bro. Anyway, moving on. Maybe you should. Maybe they make a MyCC league for you. You could work out there, Bilad, and then maybe get back you up get to some NBA experience. coaching. Yeah, it's like I don't know what's going on. Like football coaching, straight to NFL. You know, that's a difference. But. uh yeah, shout out my squad, bro. We all five and one. We'll see what Medina does. We know what we doing, out bro. from now on, but they're not looking too good either right now. Hence the power ranking. Oh. Next game. Sara Havo Suba. Suba. Right, Closer game than people would have probably expected. Yeah, but I just want to say real quick, Jared versus Mana was Yahuga who could miss more layups because <laughs> Jared was 6 for 17. Mana was 4 for 17. Four for 17. <laughs> Jared had 22 rebounds and Mana had 20 so, rebounds. So they all were just rebounding off of each other. Like, they were like, oh, I miss. I'm going to get my own rebound. thing. Miss again. Miss again. Jared had one play where he went, missed five straight layups, and got his rebound every single time on all five layups. Nah, stop. 
<laughs> man on the band, bro. I don't know. <laughs> what is but he said they just bro, what, what, right, right over, man. But that's Jared. Yeah, that's Come on, crazy, that's him. Man. That's crazy. But look, but, to Jared's defense, but Jared's not this offensive, you know, yeah, juggernaut know superpower. That. Mana is. So holding man up to four for 17, 14 points, bro. That's not banging but, defense? Yeah, hell yeah, it is. The story of Sarajevo was we got some shooting. Morayan, five, three, three threes, five for 11. And the saw that was open in the first half. He hit two signature, uh, you know, the signature done. Yaga threes, yeah, come that. down from the one corner, hit it, and then get his rebound, come down from the other corner. <laughs> yeah. he, he was feeling it. I know, I know that all too well. It's good to see him finally hitting some. Yeah, it's about time, y'all. I mean, it's about time, bro. Still not overly efficient, but... But that's what we need, well, y'all. We need that 13 points. Well, except it, yeah. Moda Yan, we need the 18 points. And even though Raza's stats did not jump off the screen... He was making some plays out there, at least. I saw him bringing up the ball on a fast break. He, he had some dimes. He was hockey assist. So, Sarajevo showed some promise today. Other than Mana, with Mana with a bad game. Sarajevo has to have the worst free throw percentage in the league. Where'd Mana go? Six for nine. That's a good, good performance. Right. Where am I looking? Eighth. Okay, now okay. I have to know where we're at. Yeah, I mean, we're, no, we're better. Okay, on the Suba okay. side... There was no Zanes. Obviously, they added Jared as his guest. I think he did his job. 14 points, 22 rebounds. Yeah. I know the efficiency wasn't great, but you can't really ask for more from him. Maddox Zuby, 4 for 16. Amir Man. Hassan, 2 for 14. I was just gassing him up last week, talking about Amir Hassan came I know out what to it play. Is. I know what 14 it is. Points. It's no. that, that garbage purple drip that he thought was fire. Bro. <laughs> I was about to say. Please burn it. But he took it off second half. Oh, did he? I was playing. I don't know. Yeah, I guess he it was, was two shots. Came he, down he took it and then he took it <laughs> off second half. But the real question is seven turnovers. <laughs> the only dog Amir had seven turnovers. Yeah, that's bad. Look, I know sometimes you have a bad shooting night, but Amir is way too good of a basketball player to have seven turnovers. He's got to at least find the open man, create for his create for his teammates if the shot is not falling. But other than that, bro. Mido balled out, 7 for 14, 17 points, 50% shooting at 17 points. You can't ask for more from him. Yeah. I mean, there was no offense. They needed offense, and the people that are supposed to be playing offense didn't do Bro, that. And after all this, the game was still in hand. Like, yeah, if so, Amid and Matic were to play good, they would have had this we, game. We talked about it before the game, and I said, me and on the way to, to MB, we, we were talking about it, Mito feet, and we literally thought, if Subo wins, I would not. Be, we wouldn't be surprised. At all. I I honestly, when I was watching, I was watching their game for half, and I was trying to watch Hassan and Nalmar's game for a half. And like, bro, Subo looked like the more in control team. I'm gonna be honest. Like, they were hitting shots. Jared was making them, giving them trouble on the boards and everything. But at the end, they just all. I mean, at the very least, at the very least, at the very least, they brought that passion that they were lacking the, the prior weeks. You see the rebound. They won the rebounding game against one no, of the No, no, they best looked like they game. wanted to play. They yeah. got some defense. Too go. many exactly. turnovers is the killer. 14 yeah. turnovers. Yeah. But. I mean, keep playing with that passion. You lock score in, a little though. more and that's it. And yeah. also, another thing. Coach Zane and Coach Gov. Losers. So, this uh, Tofi Coach of the Year, it's just. Keeps elevating. Everybody knows it's not that easy to coach in the league. I remember you losing one, though. I remember that. Me too. I remember. Very actually, just went out my I'll never forget, actually. Yeah, in the last game. game. Yeah, just, yeah. just, 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 you know, mm. you know what I'm saying. Yeah, no, I feel you. I Thank feel you. you. That makes sense. That From an unbiased sense. perspective, yeah, essentially, yeah, yeah. I agree, you know, bro. I agree. Going because that way, the velocity, bro, and the, I agree. I agree. The the angle mm -hmm, mm -hmm. is, you know, because with the wind blowing, you know how it is. No, bro. No, I understand, you, bro. you know, I you know how it is, bro. bro. Thank you. I, I From an unbiased perspective, travel. I was watching. I was like, Thank you, bro. I'm just glad to see you being realistic, bro. That's what I'm saying, bro. No bias. Come on, Tofi. All right. Tell me, what do you guys see in this game? All right. Oh, I'm going to be We honest. all shot inefficiently. That's like, literally, we played arguably, like, our worst, worst game. game. I'm like, I bet, bro, he had eight really wide good. open threes, one more wide open. All of them, good shots were wide open, just could not hit one. Yeah. So, I'm going to bet he's going one for eight. Jihad is going two for nine, three for 12, and we're still in the game the entire time, yeah. and we still won it. If I'm going to bet he has an average game, not even a bad game, not even a good game, I mean. We wouldn't buy a lot more, bro. I'm going to be honest. Like, one, well, I missed a lot of shots. And it was a lot of bad decisions, too. Yeah. Like, 
I, I, I think this is a great team, but I'm, I'm gonna be honest. I, I, we, I think we sold ourselves short. Like we should have, we should have definitely. I mean, won we that have, we have to give some credit. Like, yeah, we shot inefficiently, and a lot of them were good shots. Definitely shots we've made and, and have proven we could make and easily. But I have to credit the passion that Kashgar came with. They do they have definitely passion. Played, they definitely played they the best passion. defense they played all season. Regardless of our mishaps and our bad decisions and our missed shots that we should have made, they played great defense. Yeah, 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 Yanis, bro. Honestly, I don't think. In my recent memory, anyone's kept up with me just sprinting around the court the entire game. So props to you for that. Also a Jets fan, so, so, you know. All right. fan? Never mind. I think all it's, about uh, it. Mean, eats, yo. Oh my God. I just want to tell me that. Oh, I didn't eats, say anything. Bro. Oh. The Jets? You know we got that dog in us. Oh bro. my God. So, tell me that before. Bad before bad I gas him up. Bad eats, yo. God, bro. So I'm going to critique Cash Guard just because I was literally locked in on this team because I liked how they were playing the last two weeks. I think... First thing they have to do, it was a little bit too much iso ball at the end for Mehdi. I know he's a star player, but I feel like yeah, he was settling me. a little bit too much, okay? I literally looked through Mehdi's stats for the last four games. There's no reason you should be taking eight threes, nine threes, eight threes, nine threes. If you get hot, yeah, sure, bro, go go crazy. Six for ten from three, I get it. But if the shot's not falling, bro, you're six four and you have a lightning first step. Get to the basket and put people chill, in foul chill, trouble. Chill, 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 chill. You put hasn't a foul trouble. You got two fouls. That's it. Okay. That's it. So keep the attacking. The whole game two fouls. They got critiquing but, me because he's taking nine threes. Keep no, attacking because because when he attacked, guess what happened? You're gonna go look at the stats. Five steals. Bro, I'm ripping that. All I'm saying. I'm not is, ripping, bro. You watched the like game. Mehdi he went was, to the paint. I'm taking it. Mehdi was I love that dude. That's my guy. But bro, <laughs> he's driving. I'm ripping. Another it, thing is, Afan is way too good to become a spot up shooter. You know we okay. like that. Though. That's what we do, bro. That's, that's what we do. Chicken. We bro, play chicken, baby. We shut them down. All that talk. That's it. We just end it, bro. We don't that's start it. Chicken. We finish it. We finish it. Well, that's what we do. Have all of Yeah, have played with the confidence that now we see that he Great can play it, up to. Now Afan has to play like he had been playing the last two weeks, but without the oh Afan's going to be a catch and shoot guy that's just going to hit threes because it I'll gets admit, you out of rhythm. I'll admit. So we talked about this also off camera. We, well, I think at least. Afan needs to be a more of a point guard. He doesn't need to be aggressive, shooting the ball, trying to chuck yeah. up shots. That does, that doesn't just be able to create. Clearly, Yahya Anas could hit these threes. Mashallah, Mahdi could nasty. hit threes as well. When he could hit, just be the facilitator. Come down, bring the ball up to court, and just work the court. That's it, bro. Move if you get Mahdi inside the paint, all Mahdi has to do is turn around, and he'll have a little fadeaway every single time, if need be. But Afan being a spot up shooter in the corner while like Mehdi is dribbling the ball, doing step backs, and yeah, he's doing step backs and stuff. But you're just wasting him right there. I definitely think. I definitely think just the 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 slightly more attention he got, def- like from me defensively to him, just messed with him. He just went straight to spot up. Like yeah, you're saying. I, so just keep your head up and be aggressive, so, bro. Like Kashgar showed us, they can hang for sure. They're. They have talent. They have Mehdi. They have Yahya. They have Afan. They have Ahmed. I bid nineteen rebounds. Yeah. Big dude, man. You know, uh, he was playing Mortal Kombat with Hassan and Ahmad Sarah. Sorry. <laughs> but. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Yeah, I don't, <laughs> we don't got no problem with him. Well, I'm, like, like, well, like, yeah, I'm not going to lie. Just be a little more careful when somebody's in the air. You're but other than that, it's cool, bro. I did. You guys have more than enough talent. You guys just got to figure out the pieces and how to set up. And I think. You guys will be a tough matchup for anybody. It's not easy league, to guard. It's not easy to uh, guard four guys that could all run and I'm score. Saying. Like it's it's, bro, it's not that. Yeah, he's playing with this type of confidence. Matthew's playing with this type of confidence. So Fon's playing. That's three guys I can handle. Yeah. Then you got Glendy. You got Ahmed Abid. Like, but you know, we um, take care of business. All of us good, bro. They start to talk when we finish. Bro, that's what we guys let Hassan and I want to feel all good. Lock in, Matthew. Lock in, Fon. Lock in. We about to do the same thing next week, bro. Stop the hype train there too. Right. You know that. That's what we do, bro. Yo, we shot 89% Sorry, from the free throw line, by the way. 16 for 18. And we're second, we're a second since we brought that up. Yeah, we're a second in the, in the league in free throw right, percentage. This is a mid game of the week. So, first game. Mid game? Oh, I'm gonna, you picked the worst games of the week. Oh, wait, quick, bro. I don't see it. Lie, buddy. Banging game. <laughs> Lie, get that line. <laughs> first game. Banging game. Just the first game. Banging game. We about to go positive this week. Be serious. Because nah, I'll tell you why. Bro, you're, you're, you're clearly positive. not once in the season did you nah, nah, predict us. Bro, why. of course he's not. No, Hater, I'll bro. tell you why you're not gonna go positive. I'm talking. It's me and Kareem while watching your game. Be so serious. Listen, listen, listen. Be so serious. We just gotta talk to his barber. Make sure nothing happens. Kareem goes. <laughs> Kareem turns around to Ahmad and goes, "Yo, cuz, I might have to play thirty minutes this game." 
Let me go. It's getting serious. Let me lock it. It's getting serious. Okay. I'm like, I'm like, right. oh, well, like, oblige. you about to like dust off the kicks for it? He goes, tell Hassan once he gets by his first defender, I'm going to be sitting right down there. Mm. Mm. Yeah, let's swing it, please. That's all I'm saying, bro. All I'm saying. <laughs> you know what I got to start doing, bro? Kadeem I mean? is saying he playing 30 minutes. Yeah, no, no. Be it could be a problem. But, bro. So, we got to go positive this week. No way no, we no, lose. No, no. no way we lose, bro. Bro, bro, bro. Bro, we're we're going into this game with a game plan. Like we're gonna, you know, we're locking. We're we're locking it. We're locking. We're, 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 we're not. No, no, we're locking. We really have to stop this this train. No, 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 one hundred percent. Like that's what we're after. Look. Destroy one hundred percent. I think. Bro, theory can only take you so far. Theory can only take you so far. Sindra and Elias stay forty minutes, making Hassan work to score the basketball, pressing him ninety four feet, making him really hard for him. And someone makes it really hard on Ahmad. Are you coaching? But that goes, but that goes, no, one second, one second. That goes <laughs> both ways. they have personnel. <laughs> yeah, but I know who is scoring on them. I'll score on you guys. All real estate agent. Big MVP. No, we got Jihad on that, bro. Because we got Jihad on it. You know, you know what we'll Jihad? We'll be all right. I know you remember what Jihad did. What do you do? Come on, bro. Come on. Let's be, be Let's serious. Be two now. points be in the second serious. half? Come on. You forgot that? I don't know if you want. I don't know if he you wants to first You forgot experience. Jihad had that dog, you know? Experience. I don't know if he wants anything to do with MVP, bro. Come on, bro. He wants everything And then Jihad. That's did dog. you forget? Did you forget about That's dog. OBD? That's not locking up Mahrouz? <laughs> so, That's not working, Mahrouz? So are we saying there's going to be a OBD versus Karim matchup? I'm <laughs> worried about you guys. <laughs> You're not ready for it, bro. That's Melo versus Goat. <laughs> You're not ready for That's it. That's not Melo versus Melo? <laughs> That's the same pattern. Basically. They're just straight jab. Basically. Oh, I'm happy you want to watch NBA basketball? 7.30 p.m. Court 1 next week. This is actually game of the week for sure because this game is going to be banging to watch. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, they're going to pick Jedda, so obviously I'm going to take Kareem because he's playing 30 minutes. So, Kabul by four. Uh, okay. Sarajevo versus Tehran. That is honestly don't think it's bad eats. On, it's not bad eats. Mustafa's coming back to guard mana? That's it. How's that bad eats? In what world? Mustafa's coming back to guard mana. <laughs> Mustafa the cat. Can I make a phone call? Yeah, make one. <laughs> you better answer. You better answer. <laughs> Yo, Moose. What's going on, bro? Yo, I'm filming the podcast right now. We just, I just got one question. I'm making predictions right now. Are you coming? Yo, are you coming to guard uh, Armand Manor this week? Oh, bro, zero points, bro. That's all I need to hear. That's it. That's all I needed to hear. That's all I needed to hear. Thank you. I'll call you after. Thank you. We just making sure. Right. <laughs> you heard it here first. We don't, so bad. we don't gotta do predictions. No, no more. Tehran by ten. Tehran by ten. Lock in. I'm not even changing my answer. I'm dead serious. I'm dead serious. No, look, I got look, that. Look, I got that. Dead serious. Dead serious. Did he stutter? I believe you. Did I he believe stutter? You. Nah, I didn't hear nothing. That's it, bro. All I'm saying is if Manit doesn't show up next game, you guys know what happened. That's it. The matchup is actually really good for Tehran. So, oh, uh, so man, Kashgar is fire too, yo. Well, that's a fire it game. It is a really good game too. Wow, we got this is a good, good week, we got a good yo. Week this week. And 9.30 is another big game. Court yo. one. Just say court one. All well, the whole time. court one all <laughs> done. <laughs> Wally, Kevin Quincy on straight good court. games is bad. <laughs> straight bad eats, yo. Well, Kevin Quincy, God. you know you get one of these. You get one of these. <laughs> you get smacked in the face. You get one of these. What was the new one he pulled out? Why y'all? I'm like. Well, last song to this. <laughs> what the hell is that? What is that? I don't know. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> I think it's a moving screen. That's what I think it is. Uh, I don't know, bro. You know Kev be calling out the stuff. All right, well, I'm not Kashgar. Ooh, that's a good game, bro. Listen, if Kashgar plays like how they play against you guys. But the man, thing is, you know the rules. Against us, it's legacy games. I, I, all around. True. But this is what I'll say. If, like, they pay a lot of attention to Joe Capone again, like all the other teams have been doing, and... JoJo is still missing, and Forsan's not hitting shots. But they have a really good chance. It's definitely possible. And size-wise, size-wise, Ahmed Abed and Mahdi are down there, so I don't like. I know Amr Khalif is bigger. But I'm not gonna lie, Mahdi really does play outside. He doesn't play. Inside. That's why my rebounds were low because I couldn't get rebounds. Though. Damn. 
He plays. He hasn't played big. <laughs> and the guard play. I mean, I'm gonna go with the with the hot take just because they almost they gave us a, a, a good amount of yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna go with Cash I want to say recency bias, five. but I'm gonna be honest though. Like, if I was a betting man, I wouldn't bet on this game. I'm, and if I'm, I if I was forced to, I'd bet on Amen. Yeah, but I'm gonna go with my gut and go with Cash Card on this. Legacy. I don't want to bet against Mr. Capone. JoJo man. legacy game. 20 points. Be serious. Right watch. Now. Watch. Be so oh, Jojo. serious. No, so serious. Peace. McNugget. I'm going with the recency bias. Kashgar yeah. has played three good games in a row. Ahmed's played I'm like two or three bad ones probably. in a row. So I'm going to go Kashgar by the same amount. Three to five. Yeah, I got Ahmed by uh, six. Okay. Uh, great game. 13, so do we know if Mustafa, uh, Mustafa Bassi is going to be the guest for the rest of the season? Or no. is that one week? We don't know yet. Did, did uh, you hear anything? Why the hell would I? I don't know. I thought you said something that made you say, okay, never mind. No, no. Uh, That's you guys. Yeah, you no, guys are the plugs. Maybe you heard I don't anything. Know anything. Uh, you know, no, I have no way. idea. I'll be no honest. Idea. I kind of want to take Suba just so that Bassi goes 0 3 as a coach. Uh, I got, bro, there's no way they lose this game. Yeah, bro. I don't know who's stopping Charkas. But no way they're losing this. I game. mean, they have the personnel to do it. Mido, it not they stop, have not score, stop. Yeah. I don't know if they. No, have but Mido and Mido. and Amir to just play deep, like a, I, think I don't know if, if Zayn is playing or not. Also, because that's yeah, I don't know the, the. No, but then if you get Jared, you could put Jared on no, Amir Charkis I think or something. Jared makes it a big deal because Jared can you know close off the rim to Amir Charkis. I'm gonna go Suba. Yeah, that. I'm gonna go Suba. I do. I will say. If Amir Hassan plays good, I think Suba will win. Uh, other than that, I'm going to take Medina because they gave us a tough battle. They were hand shots, and I'm going to take Charkis and the boys by six. You said Suba? Yeah. Oh, this, is, this is hard right now. Uh, I'm just going to go it, based off of, like, I don't know. Just yeah, like, Bessie uh, first win? Yeah, I don't know. Tough. Medina by, by one. All right. Just wow. to predict. All the great games, man. Riyadh yeah. versus Lagos. The okay, one versus the two. Bro. Yeah, battle uh, of the, the bigs. Farhad probably starts stretching from now because, you know, I don't know. It's going to be easy yeah, to put be on. honest, bro. You don't know Big Moose is the Farhad's offer? Yeah, yeah, but, you know, if you go ask Farhad, there's no offense out of him. There's no gas tank for him. He's so serious. He actually told me. <laughs> nah, because you're lying. <laughs> what? <laughs> you don't be running off the court, Moose. You'll be getting back. I'm going to tell you what he told me. He was like, I'm not working overnights anymore, so now I'm locked in. Oh, okay. So uh, I look. I want you guys to win this, so yeah. they get a loss. This is unanimous. Yeah, and we we agree that. Is he at McDonald's want before the game again? It's really interesting. Wow. Are you wow. gonna go? Moose yeah, already knows my stance on McDonald's against. Look, bro, Shabab. Lock in, Shabab. Lock if you in. if you really want to get to that next level, you want to be, you know, like the Joe Capones, like guys. McDonald's is a must. Can you give them the order, though? Because maybe they don't know the order. Could you tell them to go, too? How hungry am I? No. Nah. Stop. Like, Stop. Mom didn't cook. Mom didn't cook. Broke fat. Mom didn't well, cook. <laughs> Say no more. Dust on the Say counter. no more. This is what we're hitting them with. All right. This The the gold, the trick, the secret is to go with your boy. Because this is what you're going to do. You're going to hit him with a large Big Mac meal. Coke for Bev. Obviously. Obviously. <laughs> what you're going to do, you're going to go up to your boy. Yo, split a 20-piece nugget. Done. That's that's your protein right there. What you gonna do after that? Two McChickens. Because you want to save one for later, type. Or? No. Oh, okay, no. Okay. Never say McDonald's, bro. That's that's, that's radioactive right there. Okay, it's okay. got to be eaten that's dead. True. In the, in the so market. what it is is the the concept and the science of it okay. is you have now you have two different sources of protein. You got chicken and exactly. That's gonna go into each of your legs right there. I got you. I got you. Right, right, so right. it's gonna give you that boost that you need. Throwing the fries. That's why you be jumping that high. Bro, I'm saying, bro. Okay, okay. I'm saying, it's bro. It's starting to make sense. I'm Love saying, this. bro. Shabab. Love so, this. that two different sets of protein right there is going to give you the boost. You throw in the fries. You throw in the bev. Got to be large, that's bro. That's why carbs and sugar. That's it. The that's going to get zone. you in. Mm. What that's going to do for you. Just make sure you have it a couple hours before the game. Of course, of course. So, you can rest. That's going to give you the pregame nap. It's going to knock digestion. you out. It's a lot of calories. It's going to knock you out. You're going to wake up. And that's straight adrenaline. Boost. You're going to be looking like me out there. <laughs> you gonna be looking like me. That's all I'm gonna say. Here's the issue. So if I see Musiannis with Make McDonald's easy. before the game, that's changing your. That's so changing. I might not watch the game. That's how confident but, but I am. The in issue the is the issue is that's how confident I am. The issue is now everyone knows the secret. No, but they can have it. But the thing is, it's all about 
Some people, their body can handle it. Some people can't. Because uh, that's a huge order. Everybody knows the blueprint, but what if someone orders a fish fillet? You automatically lost the yeah, That's him, bro. That's him. Same, bro. That's, me, fish? That's never. him? Me, saying, fish? Can, never. Can I get an order of large fries, please? Large fries. <laughs> I'm saying. Some people. All right, look, I'm going to go. Look, I, I would like for Riyadh to win, but I'm not going to bet against that 3 2 that they're running. I think Lagos is going to win, if I'm being honest. But I do think Riyadh has a really good chance of doing it. Like, if, if anybody. We lost by two. Yeah. They can definitely win. They can definitely do it where we came up short, you know? So I'm going to go. I'm going to go Lagos, but I think Riyadh definitely has All the right, facilities. Let me win. tell you guys the reason we're going to win. Shafiq just came off 40 piece. Oh, Shafiq but that means... No, but you know Shafiq 40. That means he's giving you 5 and 5 after He's probably yeah. going for 30 piece next week. No, yeah. he's not. You got it. Yeah, we're no, we know Shafiq is not... He's good. That's, you know he's good for one of those. That's it. One That's of those it. is Zuzi. Zuzi Anis, that's water. I think Secondly, it's almost... Let everything. me go to the Lagos side. But I'm not going to lie. They have the facilities to guard. They got Amir Kors. You can stay in front of them. They got Farhad. You can stay in front of them. Like, these are good defenders that we're talking but about. I'll tell you guys what you guys don't know. Abdul Karim and Omar Hussain grew up together. You know who the Omar Hussain stopper is? Yeah. I think. Good to know. I'm the kidding. I hope. Well, that post Fadi had was atrocious. <laughs> like, it didn't touch but the net. Did you see the, the play right after? No, nah, well, I didn't. Hit him with the. He, he. No, no, no. He's Celtics. No, no, there's one person he told that me, hit him with the. He, he told me he, he, he's Rondo. He was Rondo out there, I thought, for a second. Rondo booty. All right, bro, let's be serious. Celtics, anyone Celtics is booty. Continue. All right, so I got Lagos by three. All right, we're winning by six. I agree if there's a team that's going to. I feel like the second time I say this this season, Real is going to be the team to beat Lagos, but. They beat us. We beat you guys. Simple math. I'm sorry, Lagos bro. I'm by sorry. Five. I'm sorry, Lagos. You guys are cool, bro. I said, man, I like you, bro. I like you as a captain. Bro. Wait, hold up, hold up. Take that hold up. You're telling me Musa tried to post up, said, man, said, man, not doing this. <laughs> said, man, not doing that. A that's, that's chicken. A that's lot, chicken. Bro. You know, said, man, is locking that, bro. Come on, bro. That's one McChicken. That that's that's thing. straight. That's looking at him like this. You know, you, you seen the... <laughs> You ever seen the clip of Kawhi posted like Paul George? Oh, yeah, <laughs> and yeah, he goes yeah, to move, he goes. Like, and he goes for <laughs> That's a man right there, bro. Uh, all right, final game of next week. Wow, wow, man, wow is cool. that, the rim is cooked this game, I think. <laughs> Destroyed this game. I'll say this, though. Mohamed's going to cook his family. Yes. Splash, Abdul Ghani. Sambu's been looking. One thing, though, that we forgot to mention before. What if Abdul Ghani hits him with the, the patent? Oh. Wow. Is Mohandad ready for that? Yo, I he should just stand yeah. in the middle and just go. Oh, <laughs> like Shazay, catch I don't know. Is, is Shazay like, is Shazay <laughs> mentally locked in enough to just... I don't oh, think he's he mentally locked in enough. Where has he been at? He's so clearly sure. not locked in, Shazay. I don't think so. Clearly not locked in. Because he said he's working. Well, yeah, where you Let's been? Let's be so serious. Yeah, that's not locked in. Yeah, he's boxing up the cologne right now. Yeah. I'm sure. Why? Be so serious. He's definitely not boxing up wins. For sure. well, definitely, sure. definitely not. And, and it's technically one in five. One in five. If we're getting into the Yezen mechanics of it, definitely one in five. <laughs> Trooper, Trooper's coming or he's protecting and serving this week? I actually don't know. I'm yeah, saying. Uh, I think I'm going to base it off of he's going. But I, look, no way they lose this game, bro. No, Ahmed, and Ahmed Chaban making his coaching debut. That's definitely a loss. 1,000%. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. I have a chance. Coach, so coach, so coach, I have a chance. 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 I don't believe, I don't believe it. So I don't serious. believe in it like that. I'm just going to be like, bro, this is easy money, bro. I'm no, no, gonna, he's gonna be like this. He's gonna be like this, bro. Guys, we're just gonna lock up, and then we're just gonna score forty points. Well, that's it, bro. Oh, basically, when basically when you're open, just shoot it. Exactly. Come on, bro, and make it. Come on, bro. <laughs> Shut the hell up, bro. I was retarded, bro. Um, I, no I, way they I'm lose, gonna bro. pick Timbuktu strictly yeah. because. Istanbul's been exposed. What does Istanbul have that can guard it? It's not even. Oh, oh that makes sense. God damn. Oh, how do I? I don't know. That's. Time, can't believe I'm, I neglected. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna say something that nobody knows. Ed came back from. Uh, California, shaved his arm hair. It's <laughs> a <laughs> grown man. Bro. Is that supposed to be a compliment? No, what is because I'm talk, I was like, yo, why would he shave? They said, lighter arms. Smooth. Oh, no, no. When the... Fam, when the yeah, you yeah, you yeah. got to get that after one for eight. That's not ball is life. All of that is ball is life. Dude, we wouldn't even know about that. Yeah, word. Me, I know good. nothing about that. <laughs> I'm on once a week, cuz. That's commission. Justin, that's too much for me. All right. Uh, no, honestly though, uh, it's, everyone knows they know what to do against the Sun Blues, so I can't. It's, it's, yeah, yeah, until until I see something time. special from them, it's, oh, it's hard to predict. Why the twenty piece? Maybe I, I don't know. That's the only way. Maybe. Yeah, can can you pull out the, the ball? purple pants? Maybe uh, purple pants might be the solution. All right, stats leaders. All right. 
Uh, Mahdi and Mahrouz tied for points per game, so... Two re- rookies. Yeah. Uh, Ahmad Mana and Big Moose... Ahmad Mana with 19.8, Big Moose with 15.5, Farhad Oh, with rebounds. I'm, looking yeah. at, I'm staying rebounds. at the points. Oh, sorry, I'm like, where sorry. are you seeing yeah, this? Rebounds per game. When I say Ahmad Mana, we know what stat we're talking no, about. No, no, because you just said Ahmad Mana on points. You literally points. just said it on points. So Ahmad Mana with 19.8, Big Moose with 15.5, Farhad with 12.7. And why are these guys getting busy down there? Yo? With assists, Hassan Jaban still paying Himi to be top of assists, 6.8. Farhad with 6.3. Farzad with 4.8. Big 40 by Danny with 4.7 and uh, Shazam Khan with 4.3. I don't know how that happened. Yeah, missing. I don't know. Almost injured with four steals now. A lot of crazy. He's making a case for that deep boy. Right? Yeah. yeah. Hassan Chaban right under him with 2.83. Afan with 2.5. Shazam with 2.33. And Shafiq 40 by Danny with 2.17. Blocks. Mehdi at one. Mahruz at two. Him at three. Hold on. Him yeah. at three. How about the money? Come on, bro. You know the patent. Does that, does that count as a block? If it hits I a guess. Shirt? Come on, bro. I guess. I would count it. Where am I on this list, bro? Blocks? If you go like all the way down? You're not even. Oh, there you go. No, I, got, I got to see what the difference is. Oh, point. Hamza oh, <laughs> 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 Tatiyas. Hamza Tatiyas is here. Hamza is down here when it comes to blocks. Alright, lock it. Alright. Double nah, doubles, yeah. big moves with oh, six this, and The bottom six are all <laughs> average all one. They're all yeah. average one, bro. This yeah, yeah. Is. Come on. All right. Uh, continuing on. What's next? Double doubles, big moves and Ahmad Mana at six apiece. Then everybody else with three apiece. Yes. Farhad leading the league at free throws, 5.7. Ali Hassan right under 5.6. Mehdi with 5.2. And then three-point field goals. Ahmad the law Basti leading the league in three-point mix with 3.7. Mo Musri 3 3. Shout out Jawad with 2 8. Amr Hussein 2 8. And Amir Charkas with 2 8. And uh, yeah, that's about it, fellas. All right. See y'all next week. Assalamu alaikum. Damn, but you know, I said it's Hada because we were talking about how crazy yeah. 50